Okay. So what are we looking for? Houses. Mm, okay. Well, let's go see. Let's see what they have out now. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm going to look some. Hey, wait! What about me? Holy crap. She's gonna love it. It's gonna be so awesome. I can't wait till she sees this. It's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be awesome. Babe, you never believe. Guess what I found? What? I found it was so cool. It had an XGVR 2317509 flame chromatograph supercharged engine. This is an RV? RV. How much was it? It can tow it 90 mile an hour. Yeah, no. How much was it? It's only 2 million. Eh, uh, yeah, no. No. Think again. Okay, nope. I'll go get some more. Let's go get some more. It was so cool. You should have seen it when we saw it. This one's smaller. Mm -hmm. Doesn't tow it. None. You can only tow it at 65. It's a fifth wheel. Okay. Works really awesome. Got a built-in hot tub. How did you see? I haven't. I've just barely saw. Them. I haven't even seen one yet. How you seen two? Cause I'm fast. We just got here. Calm down, Speedy Gonzalez. Are these the problems you run into when you're looking for an RV? So do we. <clears throat> Stay tuned to see what we see. Ooh, <laughs> she touched my booty. <laughs> It's a wonderful day. And we've been doing this for almost three years now. Can you believe that? We're old. Yeah, we're old. Oh, hey, you guys are here again. Hey, good morning. Welcome to the front porch. Time to get a uh, bubbly kind of attitude. <laughs> Doesn't help that at seven o'clock in the morning. Somebody's truck is going off. Somebody's trying to go up the hill. Doesn't sound like he's having a good experience. So as you saw by all the running around and craziness that I was doing, we want to talk about RV shopping. Very much so. Or our experience since we've bought two RVs in three years. Give you some kind of things that you should look at. And this is because we've had two experiences. Uniquely different. Yep. Both good and bad came out of both. And mm -hmm. we just kind of want to put that into you. So when we decided to go into our RV lifestyle and decided to jump into the full-time experience, we spent well over a year doing research as far as what type of RV we were going to buy. We knew it had to be a toy hauler, not necessarily physical, because we were looking at some Class A toy haulers. Yeah, and then we saw the ramp going up into them. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Ooh, man, you know, we'll slow your roll seat. And we, because we were at the time, we were. Uh, mid to north uh, in California we were looking at dealers that offered that specific style of model that we we're looking for something that we can get into and start learning the whole process of being an RVer and we branched outside of the state of California to even look around Nevada Arizona and even up in Utah and Colorado to find one that suited our needs as we asked every questions we kind of settled on where we're gonna look at and we started reaching out to different places now here's the funny part Nobody would return her phone call because I was the guy who was going to buy it and I was deployed overseas. However, I did have a dealership return emails and even a... Um, we did video chats. Whilst I was deployed. So that kind of led us lean to that specific dealer who was out of state as being the person that we targeted to be the one that we're going to buy our RV through. Right. So, dur um, so during the time of processing and getting through his deployment and stuff, we, like he said, we reached out to many people. We got a lot of information as far as what to look for as far as the RV. Uh, did a whole bunch of information as far as what we should look for for the PDI and for the type of RV we were getting. So we could be prepared for the actual inspection once we received the RV. And, and there was a lot of stuff. And lucky us, COVID happened. So everything went crazy. So as, as we did that, basically the dealership said, hey, we can't have interaction with you. You can't come here to get it. We can't bring it out to you right now, so we're going to have to wait. So we already paid for it, and we were waiting about 30, 45 days before we could go get it. The day that we picked up the RV uh, was a big eye awakener of what, could, what can go wrong when you purchase an RV, and it all went wrong. Um, it should have been a miss. It should have been an, a it's our money we should have just walked away but we didn't we still took possession of the rv even though everything that could go wrong went wrong you, we had 
been talking to them for the previous 30 days lining this up and they knew for 14 days out that I'd got approved and we were coming to get it and they agreed on the date. They said, yes, that date will work. We'll have it ready for you. They rushed us through a PDI and... And used the COVID as a reason why they couldn't allow us to go through all the stuff. Long story way, way short as we talk about all this stuff. It was not a pleasant experience. Uh, we didn't know what we were doing. We barely knew how to hook up and drive away with it hooked up on us. Had no clue going down the road about the noises and things that it would make. Our first RV was an eye awakener of what could go wrong with RVing, but it was a blessing because of the fact that with everything that was wrong, not fixed, uh, we learned to build and do things and correct things on our own. Over the time that we had our first RV, we learned what we wanted how we were as campers, you know, the type of camping that we liked. And we also knew shortly thereafter that the RV that we first purchased, we needed a little bit more room. Which led us to the point of saying we wanted something a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm, we needed so more space. We went out and we said, hey, we're going to go jump in and do a lot more research. Now this time we were armed with a whole lot more information over what we did not know the first time. Oh yeah. So And so when we walked in with the dealer, they, we had a whole bullet sheet of information that normal for, your normal buyers usually don't throw at a dealer. So. I was armed. I had a full portfolio of <laughs> yes, things I wanted to look at. Um, and we also talked about when we got down there, and I would tell you, you need to have this conversation because in most marriages, one of you is confrontational, one of you is not. And I'm but not. with Lazy Days, we stayed on their lot. Oh yeah, and they took and then very good care of us. They brought the new RV in for us to go check out while we were still living in our old RV before we switched over. So when we did all that, we went through and with the new RV, I said, baby, you stay here and I'm going to go and check out the new rig. And like I said, with Lazy Days, they, were, they let us stay there for another week after we had the RV to keep going through things to get things fixed. And they, to their credit, they went through everything we found. If we found a scratch or we found a dent, they took it back into the body shop and they, and they fixed, fixed it. it. Right? Um, but they went through everything with us and it was a pleasant experience. And mm -hmm. even to this day, we're every time we've had an home. issue, mm -hmm. even though we're outside of warranty with, uh, with Riverstone and with Lazy Days, they help us. We still call up and their technical uh, support line, they still call us and say, hey, let me get a tech online and let's work with you. Lazy Days has been great about that. Mm -hmm. If we do buy another RV, I have every intention Go right of going right back to them if we can get the one we want. Make a plan or schedule how you're going to do things and stick to it because that allows the process to go more smoothly. And by the time we were ready to go, we knew everything we needed to do. We were confident in our purchase. So the thing, whether you're buying new or used, it, I would say start out with a used one, especially if you're just getting into the RV universe, because learn about the type of camper you are. Uh, people get involved and you might find out that you don't like RVing at all. It's a whole new thing. Oh, it sounds great. Wonderful adventures. You watch all the YouTube channels and you're thinking it's going to be awesome. And These, it's with an RV. It's not what's broke or it's not if it's going to break. It's, it's when it's going to break. What's the way it is with most RVers. Almost everybody I know, they have something wrong with their RV that they need to fix. They just haven't got around to it yet because it's not a massive priority. Now the thing is, if we get starting out with a used one and find out what works for you. How much space, how to organize, how, what routines that gets you in the mood, get you guys moving. Um, and that can take time once you get things going. If you really like doing it and you find this is the lifestyle that you want you can upgrade later and that's what we did but we, also, we also picked what we wanted not yeah. just what we needed we picked some things that we, we wanted. wanted this time because yes. we didn't know last time yes we want you to have a wonderful experience we've watched too many people jump in not know what they're doing and get so frustrated that they wanted to call it quit i hope you guys like this information if you guys need more or need help with understanding some other things or having trouble with some stuff Please let us know. We are free to help anybody that we can. Go ahead and leave some information in the comment below. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Smash that bell. <laughs> and give this video a thumbs up. We thank you guys for being here and we hope you guys have a fun weekend. Take care of each other, love one another, and we'll see you guys next week. Rambling on down the road with the rambling rivers. Bye everybody. Thank you.